vehicle storage lot in an undisclosed location. Here's another episode of the traditional Roman Catholic. Hey there. Welcome to the first episode of the traditional Roman Catholic, and that's Roman, R-O-A-M-I-N, apostrophe. Get it? Because, like, we're in an RV and everything, so there's that. Anyway, this is a new feature at CatholicCyberMilitia.com, and we'd like to invite you to join the scores of people that are following us on either YouTube or at that site, CatholicCyberMilitia.com, and there'll be links in the video, but... Uh, Actually, maybe it's not scores, because probably the same people that are following us on YouTube are the same people who are following us at the website. So let's change that to, we hope you join the dozens of followers that we have on this site. And we're growing, maybe. Anyway, we'd like to give you some apocalyptic encouragement. These are tough times, but our Lord and Our Lady are looking out for us. And we may be bottoming out, but I think we're going to be looking up here pretty soon. And speaking of that, I've got an article here from Michael Matt's newspaper, The Remnant. It's a great little uh, rag. It comes out once a month. Uh, they have an online version. I would definitely encourage you to, uh, to check them out. But this is an article that uh, Michael Matt uh, wrote last month. And uh, he's basically just talking about it's time for us to recognize as Catholics that, yeah, these are pretty tough times, but that things are beginning to look up. And uh, he and his uh, father have been following this crisis in the church since the Second Vatican Council and all the things that went wrong uh, in, in the spirit of Vatican II. And he says this in his article, Something is happening, something big, which I have not seen before now. In the face of a new pagan empire where darkness covers the earth, the lamps of the little remnant of Christian believers who refuse to abandon the old faith are being lit once again. In my nearly 30 years here at the remnant, I've never seen so many signs of darkness being dispelled and the scales being removed from Catholic eyes. And hopefully the scales are coming off of your eyes as well. Maybe you've taken that red pill in the light of the, all the crisis going on here in the church with the, uh, the homosexualist uh, abuse scandals, the bad doctrine, the whole bit. So, Michael continues here. So many people are waking up to the true and evil spirit of the revolution in the Catholic Church that we must allow for the very real possibility that God himself, in his mercy, is intervening on behalf of his church by removing the blindfold from a faithful remnant. So, that's kind of what's happening now. The, the more modern term is to use uh, red pilling from the, the, um, the Matrix series of movies, but maybe that describes you. So, don't be discouraged. Our Lord and his mother are looking out for the church. This is his church. It has been entrusted to, to prelates who are supposed to run the church in his name and preach the gospel truth in his name. And when they fail to do that, they'll be held to account by our Lord on the day of judgment. So you need to pray for these men that they will return to orthodoxy and that they will return to being the type of leaders and the type of men that God always intended them to be. In the meantime, we have to pray ourselves. We may not be able to get Cardinal so-and-so uh, to repent because he's so set in his ways, but us. We can make sure that we repent so that on the day of judgment, we are not found wanting or lacking, and we're certainly not found condemned. And we can do that by remaining close to the sacraments, frequent confession, reading the church fathers, praying a lot. I need to pray more, but on Judgment Day, you don't want to be standing too close to some of these guys, is what I'm thinking. So the way you avoid that is by making sure that your own life is right with God, that you're receiving the sacraments, that you're adhering to the true and timeless teachings of the Roman Catholic Church, and again, frequent confession. So that is the first episode here of the traditional Roman, R-O-A-M-I-N apostrophe, 
Catholic, we hope that you will uh, will join us for, for future episodes. Hey, Michael Voris, over there at Church Militant, check your rearview mirror. We're gaining on you. Again, we've got dozens, so here we go. Anyway, hope you join us for the next episode.